Hey, what's going on? My name is Wes and I've been using these Bluetooth headphones that I have here for about a year now. In a matter of fact, I received this last year, September 17, and this video is on September 16, so it's about somewhat a year. So, how good is this Aue 780BL Bluetooth headphones that I have here? Let's find out. Let's start with the design. So as you can see, the overall build of the headphones is somewhat minimal. It has an all black look. The cushion up top feels okay. The earbuds on the side are comfortable enough and they are very durable compared to other Bluetooth headphones that are this cheap. But the problem here is that the earbuds on the sides are a bit lacking in length. And first of all, I am an Asian. So you expect me to have smaller ears. But even though I have small ears, the earbuds are not long enough to cover my entire ear inside though you cannot see my ear from the outside but the hole in the center is not that long so it won't cover your full ear but that's just a minor thing and if you're wearing this properly you won't have any problems with it at all it won't hurt you even if you're wearing it for hours and it is very comfortable just like what i said earlier the buttons are pretty good they are responsive they may feel cheap because they're plastic but they are cheap that is kind of well made i don't know if this makes any sense but they look cheap but whenever you're using them they don't feel cheap at all they're responsive enough whenever you want to pause the song to skip a track to go to the previous and other things if you don't want to waste any battery and you want to use this without any delay in sound you can use this with the headphone jack and you can insert an SD card for some reason I don't know why but it's there if you need it so when it comes to the overall design I like the aesthetics of it it is black but it's not that kind of fingerprint magnet like other glossy black it is somewhat matte and the plastic build of these bluetooth headphones are durable enough for everyday tasks as long as you're not intentionally snapping them in half now let's go to the sound quality now the sound of these headphones that I have here is flat which is okay it is not bassy that will sound like muffled whenever you want to crank up the volume and they are not that teeny that will hurt your ears if you want to crank up the volume the distribution of sound is excellent and if i want to edit videos if i want to play games if i want to listen to my favorite music i know that these headphones will give that accurate sound for me and yeah i said that i can edit videos and play games here in my bluetooth headphones and you will know later why now let's go to the battery life you already know that these headphones are cheap this is 800 pesos or 16 dollars but they don't feel like they are 800 pesos. I think they should be placed higher than 800 pesos because it is everything you can expect from a pair of headphones. It is not like other cheap Bluetooth headphones that has a decent battery life when you unbox it and your first week of use. But after that, the battery life is suffering very, very fast. This is not like that. With these headphones, you can go weeks without charge. You can watch long movies, binge watch series, and play games with them and you will not worry about battery life. And speaking of playing games and the thing that I said earlier, editing videos, what I like about here is the latency. The latency of these Bluetooth headphones, of course we all know that all Bluetooth headphones have their own latency, but the latency of this pair of headphones that I have here is very low. And of course if I will try to record them in slow motion, um, monitor the millisecond that it will create i will see a significant amount of millisecond delay in these headphones because this is cheap but in real world usage you won't see much of a difference that is why sometimes i try to edit with this pair of headphones and i don't have any worries with the delay of the sound whenever i'm editing and with the delay of the sound whenever i play games i don't have any worries using this now let's go to the price i mean you can't really go wrong with this you know um this is just 800 pesos or 16 dollars and even if you don't need one i think you should buy because this pair of headphones is great and they would increase your level of satisfaction when it comes to watching videos playing games listening to music podcasts and other things so if you want a pair of headphones that is simple cheap like what i have here um, they may not have all the features, they may not have the features of having a personal assistant, the Google Assistant or Siri, you cannot use them. It may not have those kinds of things, but the important things that this pair of headphones that I have are very good. And even with those simple features, I think they won't disappoint you. If you like this video, give it a like. If you don't want it, the other button seems to work as well. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first one to see future videos like this. Have a great day.
Thank you.